Hey buddy, this is Truck Driver Sean from Facebook's The Roof of the Day. I'm here today with my new piece of gear. It's a PB Triple X2. It's a three channel head. It has six gain stages, oddly enough. Because you have three on your high gain and three on your low gain. It comes with a built in noise gate, fat switches for both your gain channels, residents and presents. And uh, you can switch your tubes out, play all kinds of tube games, but I don't know nothing about that. It has an active effects loop. That's in return. It also has it where you can put the output to your speakers, sort of like a. If you want to do like home recording and stuff, you can plug right into your DIY or whatever it's called, DI. I don't know. Don't know nothing about that stuff. <laughs> so today we're just going to take a real quick look. I'm going to show you some of the sounds you can get from it. Um, there's no official writing. But what they did with the old Triple X to revamp it is they took a bunch of heads that had certain things that were good about them and put them into what people didn't like about the first Triple X. Queen Channel is supposedly the channel that they created for Joe Satriani for the JSX. I believe it. It's real sparkly and jangly, but yet has a really warmth to it that PB's been really known for over the years. You get your normal, really warm and buttery sound you get from the PB heads, but you also get like that little tangly thing behind it that's normally... You know, used with like Marshalls and more higher end stuff from over across the puddle in the U.S. By the way, that's why I say that. British and U.K. Whatever that stuff is over there <laughs> shows my education level, right? So you also have the Crunch Channel, which is supposedly the old circuitry for the fifty one fifty two, which I never really played one of those for some reason. I, I Played pretty much all the 5150 stuff, but I can't remember playing one of those. Lead channel is the Ultra channel from the Triple X, which that I'm very familiar with. I had the regular Triple X before this. And it's fantastic. Having the presence and resonance versus the regular Triple X is really nice because you can kind of tweak things just a little bit to your individual sound. And um, I have noticed with different guitars and different pickups, I've had to tweak them just a little bit to keep the sound pretty close to the same because, well... Today I'm using a overseas Jackson, Kristen Ol Wobbers, Cow, whatever you want to call it, um, guitar. This is a El Cheapo, but it, it sounds pretty good. I like it. It's easy. It stays in tune no matter what the heck you do to it. So we'll be using that. I am plugged literally. Cord. Of course, I had to pick the longest cord on freaking earth. <laughs> right to the guitar. No effects, no nothing. What you got? The sound of the amp. Through my Jens Benz G-Flex 2x12. I've had that cab forever. I don't even know if you can still buy those. If you can't, it's a damn shame. That's a good cab. So, 120 watts. And you want to read the stats? Look it up yourself. We're going to play some tunes. Alright, here we go. <laughs>
gentlemen. <laughs> It's like the crunchy, crunchy channel. So, if you want to do like that hard rock and southern stuff, you know. change here so we're gonna go right into like some really cool metal stuff <laughs>
be high gain. So we'll go over to the low gain real quick. Give you a little taste of what that's like. Doesn't sound drastically different. It just really takes that gain and like cuts the frequency and the push just a little bit. So even the queen channel is going to sound just a little bit different. So uh, give this a wangy. <laughs> cherry sound just by hitting that fat switch. This is where the fat switch comes in handy. resonance a little bit, you can get like that whole Nickelback thing. channel which I call the you might as well be called metal channel it's like where it breaks that thing between like the crunchy crunchy and the rock and roll this is where I say you want to save a ton of money? People are like rave about Mesa Boogie. This thing's not even, it's just pushing half its power. And this is like Mega Bussy. Mega Bussy. <laughs> Mega Mesa Boogie. Can't talk today. Maybe I need a sip of coffee. Oh, please. All right. Yeah. 
Anyhow, that's a song called Rockstar by Pistol Shot Gypsy. Look it up. It'll be worth your time. I mean, I botched the hell out of it. And, uh, Jeff will probably want to, like, should be a really soft, like, BB gun or something. Airsoft. Something won't hurt. I don't want to take it a shot, but I don't like pain. Kind of a sissy. Anyhow, well, let's get that one. Let's get that. clean, you're rolling dirty, it's just a beast, you know? Straight amp. Uh, I think we'll see, out of all the gear that I've gone through, this one here is not going anywhere. I'm going to keep this thing. This is, this is beast times a thousand. And, um, 
PB just makes good products. Like, uh, I know a lot of people that watch this, so like families and friends and people from Riff of the Day. But in case you're not, a uh, really cool like little look at the PB6505 mini head has been done by my buddy Yorma Spaziano. Um, definitely check out his uh, video. You can check it out on the Riff of the Day. I'll leave the link down here at the bottom. Um, if you play guitar, or if you just enjoy guitar playing, or if you ever just want to see some shenanigans that are just ridiculous. We got some guys that are, you know, they do, you know, music professionally and it's hobbies and you got guys like me, I'm just an idiot truck driver that can play a few chords, <laughs> make pretend to noodle. I enjoy good gear and uh, I've gone through a lot of it, bought in a lot of it and uh, I keep the stuff that I like. And this one, right, this ain't going anywhere. I'm going to hang on to this. You know, I'm really interested in getting a Panama 2x12 or even maybe a 4x12. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> this thing runs pretty hot. I might want to get the 4x12, but I like to try the Panama stuff. I like the Panama stuff. I got a couple 2x12s by Panama. They're fantastic. I'd like to try some some heavier stuff from them. But anyhow, like I said, it's the PV Triple X2. Um, they might not even be making it anymore. I think they've kind of took this and another amp, kind of put them together and made this like all matte black amp. It's like the 47 something something. I don't know. Look into it, I suppose. Do your own research. It's not my job. I can just tell you this right here. You can buy them used for anywhere between 500 and or 450 if you want one that's got some iffy tubes. Just replace the tubes, but you can get them pretty cheap under 600 bucks. You pay more than 600 bucks, you didn't shop hard enough, and they're great. It's a PV product, so you know, it's built like a friggin' tank. So, anyway, that's all I got to say. Check out Facebook's The Riff of the Day, a little link down there. You can find myself and people that are way cooler than I am. We got a whole bunch of dudes on there just having a good time. So, this is Truck Driver Sean once again. PV Triple X2, great head, worth every penny. Even if you bought it brand new for eleven hundred bucks, it's worth the money. But why buy new when you can buy used? <laughs> Sorry, music stores, but this is an economy where shit's getting expensive, and guitars still want gear. So, what one guy gets rid of, why should the next guy pick up, right? So, head, cord, guitar, no funny business, no games. Plugged straight in. I'm running. I'm recording this on a Galaxy S4 cell phone. So the audio you hear is literally the audio. It might be a little scratchy when I'm pushing it because I have the volume up pretty good on it because I was totally enjoying my coffee and playing this morning. So the audible level was for my own enjoyment. <laughs> and uh, yeah, check it out, man. Have yourself a good go. And like I said, if you're on a budget and you're trying to shop, don't get one of those. $400 solid state heads that you just know you got to throw a bunch of distortion pedals in front of you. You end up spending a ton of money anyway. Find one of these used. Give the people the, give them your money. <laughs> They're worth it. I say anywhere from you know around $450 to $600 is a good buy for that. That's like you're stealing chickens. And most of the time I find that uh Unless someone's been touring with it and it's had the living crap beat out of it, you can buy PV stuff that's still in immaculate shape. Because people who buy PV stuff, usually, um, people that buy PV stuff love their gear. They take care of their gear. It's not like those marshals where, like, half the letters are missing, there's dents in it and scratches in it. Like, when they take and trade it in, the fact that they even got anything for trade in on it is ridiculous because they're beating the crap out of it. And not because they're junk. But because Marshall people use it until it's done. So if you see a Marshall used, it's usually because it's done. <laughs> you know? And uh, I personally, I'm not, a, I'm not a fan of Marshall. Their sound does nothing for me. They haven't built an amp yet that makes me go, i got to buy that. So, yeah. Anyhow, once again, been a long journey. I've been through some oranges, some Agnators. Been through some stuff. <laughs> been through some amps. This right here. Back at PB, man, and it's good amp. Anyhow, you've heard me ramble on long enough. Once again, I am Truck Driver Sean, aka Captain Fatass, <laughs> playing Jackson Cow into the Triple X2 for my own enjoyment, and maybe yours too. Who knows?
if you like listening to the guitar riffs, normally it's not drawn out like this. Probably an insanely long video. Normally it's just you know like this is what you see on the riff of the day. Hey, this is Chuck Darby showing. Here's today's riff. <laughs>